All right, I'm going to let Chris tackle number nine because this is his jam. Just Cause 3. Uh, just Cause 2 uh, definitely followed in the Saints Row school of just taking a game and making it just the dumbest game possible. Letting it have fun. Giving you an island. Giving you ridiculous physics. The grappling hook. And, and the grappling the, hook. Uh, the parachute the fact combined. That, the fact that you could grapple a plane and then attach that grapple to a light post and have the plane fly in a circle until it crashed is amazing. So if Just Cause 3 is even a fraction quarter of a fraction of that much fun Just Cause 3 is going to be hit. Just with next gen everything. Mm-hmm. See Just Cause 3 will be the game where do they learn what made him successful. Because Just Cause 1 was pretty forgettable. Yeah I... By the nature I, of the fact that you forgot. I things. actually was sitting there trying to think of what Just Cause 1 was about and I don't remember. It was, the, it was a 360 exclusive. I remember that. Because it came out like before the PS3 was a thing. But I don't remember anything about it except the cover was red. And there wasn't a grappling hook. I don't remember anything yeah, about I, it. I, I don't know. So, Just Cause 3, hopefully, better. If that's possible. Just at least have it be fun. Fun. Number 8, Persona 5. The big, big non-Final Fantasy Japanese RPG. This game... God. For, for a game that has shown us almost no gameplay except that one trailer and it's just been a bunch of anime cutscenes, but that's all you need to be like, oh my god, oh Persona. Yeah, Persona's got a weird cult-like following the likes of which I've never seen. Because I remember when they announced it, like literally everyone shat their collective pants at once and was like, well, I know what I'm doing over December to March, and that's Persona. All the Persona. All of it. And... All they did was unveil that one screenshot where it was like a bunch of school chairs with the shackles. And people lost their mind. I love it. It doesn't matter because it's Persona and you know you're going to get like a hundred hour plus like RPG just directly injected into your veins and you're just going to love it. And then they showed the gameplay trailer and it's a little more action-y. You're fucking like jumping around corners like, oh dude, it's it's absurd. It is. And you need to play it. You know what would be great is if... Persona games always have like those ridiculous like occult and religious overtones and everything. I'm just really waiting for the day Fox News picks up on the fact that it exists Don't. and just runs to just a new segment about how there's this new game trying to brainwash kids into killing Jesus. You you because you, you know it's gonna happen eventually. You put it They're out going there to realize that it's a thing. It's your fault. You're welcome. I'm not thanking you. No, because then it's going to make more people know that it exists. No. And then all the edgy kids that are sad that Hot Topic's no longer cool anymore are going to be like, that's how I'm going to piss off mom and dad. Persona sales double. Yes. Wait, Hot Topic's not cool? This just in. No. Chris, have you ever shopped at Hot Topic? Yeah. Then it's not cool. Ow. (laughs) (laughs) So mean. I thought we were friends. Yeah, we are. No, we're not. We're the best Not at that point. All right, Chris, tell me number seven. It looks like to be Halo 5 Guardians. It is. Hunt the truth. Hunt Hashtag. the truth. All right. This weirds me out because we are like six months out from its proposed October release date, and yet the commercials for it are all over the TV. I, I s- feel like I might get burned out by October if you, this continues. You know how very little I watch television. Yeah. I've seen that commercial like seven times. It's ridiculous. Both commercials. And I don't know, are they just advertising the hashtag? Because that might be actually new for me. Like an advertising campaign for a hashtag for an upcoming trailer for a game that's half a year away. Uncharted 4 and Legend of Zelda both got delayed to 2016, which means Halo 5 is the only proposed uh, big exclusive for the big three. But at the same time, is it too ambitious to release an exact release date? Because I feel after Master Chief Collection, you can't afford to to rush a game just to hit an arbitrary release date. Like, I'm really worried that they're going to go, we need this to be a holiday game, we need to hit before Call of Duty, we need to do this or this or this, and then we get the Master Chief Collection all over. Because if if another Halo game launches with a buggy online mess, I don't even know what what that would do to the brand's reputation. It's already, like... People, it's an online joke now, yeah. Halo. Like that's not a good thing that you want going into your big holiday game. But I mean, the beta was great. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So they they change it up just enough to make it feel fresh. You can feel the ideas. It's cribbed from other series, but it still feels undeniably Halo. Hey, steal from the best. It's just uh, I'm just I, I hope that they don't force that release date on them to the point where it hurts the game. I was kind of wondering why they didn't uh, announce the release at E3. Yeah, seems odd. 
Because yeah. you know you're going to get your first true gameplay of it at E3. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Number six. Tomb Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider. That's a silly name. It is a dumb name. <laughs> this is, uh... The, and it, this the was going to be the game that Uncharted, that Uncharted 4 stomped. But now that Uncharted 4 is not coming out this Christmas... This opens up Tomb Raider to be a much bigger success than it was because when you give people the two options of that type of gameplay, Uncharted was going to win. Yeah. And now it's just kind of, it's got its own time, which I think it's going to benefit it greatly. It is. Uh, and I also think Tomb Raider is also benefiting from the fact that the game was kind of an under-the-radar hit. The first one. The first is ironic one. considering Tomb Raider used to be one of the biggest names. Yeah. But but also, it's been, it's been on it's been on Games for Gold, it's been on... Um, PlayStation Plus, so a lot of people have had a chance to play it that haven't played it when they bought it. Right. So I feel like this one's going to be a really huge hit. I agree. I think it's going to be much bigger. And the first one is selling like still selling really well. I think the key is going to be: do they do enough about this to make it feel new, and not just a another version of one we just got? I think as long as it's as long, I think it's going to be like Arkham Syndrome. As long as it's good, like it's not going to matter. See, that's what every game wishes it could be the Arkham Asylum to City jump like if every game could pull that off as a sequel then we would be in a much better place as a gaming industry well the world's not perfect let's go number 5 with Xenoblade Chronicles X featuring Shulk featuring Shulk actually is he in this one? I don't know, I don't know. is my Shulk amiibo gonna work? I hope so nah now, you have to I buy the exclusive one for it. The irony about this being number five is that I actually don't know much about it because I've been purposely... With an RPG, I don't like too many trailers because RPGs are all about the story and for every trailer you watch, you get a little bit more spoiled. So I don't even know if Shulk's in it. He might be. And if you, the name, hearing the name Shulk is really weird... Shulk. It's because it's a dumb name. It's bad name. He's, he's got like the Psy half shirt thing going on. Oh, it's on. really bad. I know. But this game combines giant mechs with a fantasy world and the battle system of the first I mean the original Xenoblade was one of the surprise hits of last generation it is one of the best RPGs out in general of all time I'm throwing my money down on that it's, uh, so I'm really excited for this one it's just, also on the Wii U of all things and you know what I feel like it's going to be the same problem I had with the first one where I go man this is a really fucking good game I sure wish this was on a better system there's nothing. I mean, the game's so good, and then you're like, "Babe, but what if it had better graphics, like, or any online functionality, or anything at all?" So even though now it's in HD, and I'm like, "Good, it looks like it should have five years ago." I don't know. Well, I, you I don't can't, know. Don't, I just, don't. I know. Don't go down that rabbit hole. Don't go that rabbit hole. It'll drive you mad.